as I'm getting older I'm becoming less and less wanting to talk about non-duality in the person person to person I love teaching it and I love speaking about it but talking about it on a personal level with people when I mean that in my day to day life I just the the instinct here or the feeling here is you have to be human like not living through ah oh, there is nobody so why are you getting angry it's totally and utterly being human and vulnerable to that humanness in the day to day life but then in the instant which is always present there is nobody so in this instant in everything that happens there is nobody in the day to day living with humans you are the personality structure or you pretend as if you're the personality structure whatever way you like to put it but in no way does non-duality need to be brought up at all with other humans most people are using non-duality to control another when they're bringing it up in day to day life or to push another away to have power to what they call help another but it's often about avoiding day to day life is about the washing up about the mundane which is magical It's not about trying to escape a through feeling through any non-duality concept. It's having, it's fully embracing that feeling. On the human level, the more you understand yourself, the more easier it gets in relationship with people. The more you understand what the person wants, what it's doing, its conditioning, then that becomes easier. But the freedom isn't in anything human, the freedom is in this instant, that there's nobody experiencing this, there's nobody looking out of these eyes. They're looking, the looking is this endless presence that's a total and utter mystery. It's a mystery who's looking. It's a mystery who's hearing. It's not the personality structure that hears or sees or thinks or acts. It all comes from this absolute mystery, but yet it's that mystery is looking through that, looking through that personality structure. Just like film when the light shines through a picture and these pictures move rapidly and it gives the appearance of a film and a reality that light is like the light of consciousness shining through these bodies watching everything and then the whole Lisa reality is projected everything is seen within the Lisa rules and in the other bodies within those rules like the Lisa hologram like Lisa sees the wood in a particular way she experiences humans in a particular way and then the next body experiences the world in that particular way 